Good afternoon to everyone. I mean, isn't it exciting to be here today? I mean, just look at that view and the beauty. I mean, we are blessed. We are truly blessed to be in this location today and when you think about the topic that we're going to be talking about. When you, think of, look at, when you think about and look at the issue and how critical it is to our country, to our society, to our culture, because as we know in this country, aging is not valued by a lot of people. And uh, it's not something that we take, a lot of people take seriously or treat as something that is cherished. And you're changing that by your efforts in our community today. And so this gives us an opportunity to highlight that, to really focus and to bring attention to it and to see where we're going in the future to have these programs and plans in place so that we can have age, an age-friendly community for all of us. So it's really important and very uh, special that we have this opportunity today. So it's, uh, we have some wonderful speakers who will give us an opportunity to share with everyone the, the, what they're doing in their communities and so we can emulate those in a lot of ways. But let me talk a little bit about some of the history. The Age Friendly Initiative began with the United Nations Resolution in 1991. It was called the Principles for Older Persons. In 2002, the World Health Organization developed an active aging policy framework. In 2007, the WHO, Global Age Friendly Cities Guide, identified eight core characteristics of an age-friendly city. In 2010, the WHO World Health Organization Global Network of Age-Friendly Cities and Communities was established. Portland, Oregon became the first U.S. city to become age-friendly, certified in 2010. That disappoints me. <laughs> Why Portland, Oregon? Why not San Mateo, California? I mean, that's what we should have had. So shortly thereafter, in 2011, the Center for Age Friendly Excellence, or CAFE, was established within the Los Altos Community Foundation and began its mission in assisting cities to become age-friendly certified. CAFE first started working with Los Altos and Los Altos Hills in 2013, which became the first certified cities in the state of California. CAFE was then able to get every city and the county of Santa Clara certified. So they beat us down there as well. That's all right. We're on the way. So in 2018, CAFE started working with San Mateo County. And as of today, it has 11 cities certified with the AARP. And we are now going to break, uh, and has 11 cities certified. And, and that is significant, and as we know, the, the movement is continuing, and we'll hear about that today. So we're now going to break for lunch, and we'll resume the program around 1245, and then we can hear some of the great work that's being done. So enjoy your lunch, and we'll be right back. And please join me in thanking all of our presenters and the city that they represent today. And, you know, I haven't been thinking a lot about, well, I have to think a lot about aging, actually. <laughs> but, I mean, it's, uh, I haven't been thinking about the skill sets, the, the cities, the way we can implement, the way we can outreach, the way we can reach those seniors and then provide them with some service that they can use and can help their quality of life living in this beautiful place that we all call home. And I think that that's really what I've learned today, is that there are opportunities, there are programs, there are cities, and we have about them. We need nine more in San Mateo County. And those cities will come on board and we'll be doing this again, so that we can hear how they are going about it. Because this is not something that, as we know, set in stone. This is not something that is not going to transition. I mean, we're at the beginning. We're at the beginning of making sure that, this, that we age friendly and that our cities can provide that opportunity. And we've learned that today in so many ways. And the state of California is there, I believe, to help us along the way, especially with that grant we talked about. <laughs> so we'll see it. And so this is really a, a pleasure for me to be part of this conversation today and this great, great opportunity. But before we leave, 
sort of remind you of one thing, I'll let you know about one thing. You all have little favors at your place. And you see the beautiful little centerpiece you have? If you would lift up your favor and turn it over, there will be a dot, a, a spot, a dot on, on the bottom of one at each table. Whoever has that dot, well, you can that you can go around. <laughs> the, uh, whoever has the dot gets the centerpiece. So enjoy the beauty of Paul in there. Thank you all very much for being here. Thank you to Cafe for making this possible and for bringing it to us all together today. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. It's beautiful and the floor is lifted so that we can enjoy the beautiful view of Pacifica.